It just depends on where you're at. Uh, so let's take a look at Storm Tracker. Proof, if you couldn't see it in the video there, that it is absolutely raining in our valley areas. No doubt about it. It's coming down pretty hard in some spots as well, especially the further south that you go, just near the Capital District and into southern Vermont now. Some of those yellows showing up. You've also got the, the snow having taken over a little bit in the Adirondacks and Green Mountains as well. And I think that will continue to kind of creep down our slopes as our temperatures do drop a little bit later today. Let's take a closer look at the Champlain Valley. I think Plattsburgh may be getting some wet flakes in there, but likely mostly just the rain there. Shelburne down through Lewis, the north way there, also going to find some heavier rain. Huntington as well, Middlebury, but then you get a little bit of that elevation. Warren, you're going to find some of that snow, likely some of that mixing in in Eden. Dwayne, Harriettstown, uh, Redford, you're all going to get some of that snow to start. So again, elevation is a huge factor with the snow this morning. 41 in Burlington, it's 38 degrees in Middlebury, same with Montpelier. 41 still in St. J, which is why our valleys and a lot of us still have that rain. However, temperatures will actually be dropping through the day as our westerly wind takes over. And it's going to put us in the mid 30s by the afternoon. So it's a slow, very slow sink in our temperatures as the system passes. It'll start to filter in that cooler air. In the meantime here, we've got a southeast wind keeping us nice and warm. But watch, this is around 7, 730 or so. That's when our wind gusts are going to peak. This is going to be a down sloping wind. So you get that southeast and east wind moving over the mountains. And on the other side, those western slopes, you get those oranges and yellows showing up. Those are the 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts that are very a big likelihood again in Rutland in Addison County, but even up towards the Northeast Kingdom, that's a possibility. Wind does get a little bit better as the day goes on and so do those snow showers. But before they wrap up towards this afternoon and evening, we're going to see a nice uh, solid three to six inches in the mountains above around 2000 feet or so where you guys are going to get the highest of those snow totals. But especially in the Adirondacks, you could see six or even up to 12 inches of that snow adding up throughout the morning and into parts of the afternoon with minimal accumulation in the valleys. As you can see, it is going to be mostly rain in the lower terrain through about lunchtime. From there, as those temperatures fall, we could see a little bit of that transition into the snow. But the mountains will see that snow most consistently throughout the day as it slowly starts to taper off. Tomorrow, some scattered snow showers are possible yet again, especially in the mountains, but it wouldn't surprise me if some other spots saw some lake effect snow too, as a westerly wind takes over. And that westerly wind going to take a hit to our temperatures. 40s today, but only 20s tomorrow. Saturday and Sunday might be a little cloudy, maybe a spot shower in the mountains, but it is going to be cold in the 20s. Next week, more unsettled weather with some rain and snow on the way again.